actually is form. When you're trying to learn how to work out, trying to figure out how to correctly maneuver through all of the many different exercises there are out there, it's really hard. It can be really difficult and it leads to a lot of confusion, but it doesn't have to be that complicated. There are definitely some exceptions to what I'm going to explain today, but understanding this basic explanation is going to get you much farther with most exercises. It's really kind of your bare minimum knowledge to then move on from there into some other form nuances, but I'm just gonna go over the big picture today. So basically there are five checkpoints that you wanna look at for your form, and that is your head and shoulders, your neck, what's called your lumbopelvic hip complex, your knees, and then your feet. And I'll go through each one of these in order and basically what you want each of these to look like when it comes to pretty much any exercise. So starting with your head and neck, this is pretty simple here. Basically all you want is your head to not be sticking forward or even too far back, but most people have necks that stick forward because we spend so much time texting and on computers and we end up with this kind of motion. Basically what you wanna make sure when you're looking at your neck that there is no bending of the neck mainly in this direction. Sometimes you'll see bending your neck too far forward is an issue too. You want your neck to be in the middle. If you stuck your, if you double chin real hard and then stuck your neck all the way forward and then came to the middle, that's where you want your neck and that's where you want it to stay. So when you do things like squats, you don't want to stare into the mirror the whole time and then slowly bend your neck as you go down and kind of does this sort of thing. You want to keep your neck straight that whole time. It finishes off your neutral spine. So then we have our shoulders and it's the same deal with the shoulders. You don't want them too far forward. You want them nice and pressed back. You want to think about, you know, pinching a penny in between your shoulder blades, keeping your chest forward. You want that in almost all your exercises here too. Also with your shoulders, if you're doing things like like planks or anything like that where you're prone or facing the ground, but you wanna make sure your palms are directly below your shoulders. You wanna make sure your shoulders are supported if you're doing something in that, or if it's overhead too, you wanna to make sure that they are directly overhead, not here or further back. So then you have your lumbopelvic hip complex, and that sounds like a big fancy complicated word, but that pretty much means just your core and your hips. And basically what you want there is you want for your hips to be tucked under. A trick that I always like to do is to stick, but I'll stick my thumbs right here and I'm picking myself up to show you this in the camera so you're not, I'm not gonna be able to show you properly, but I stick my hands like this and I push my fingers down back here. And so if, can you kind of see it forces that tucking motion? That's what you, that's what you want there. You want to have your butt totally tucked under so that you're not going here. You're not tucking under completely, but you want to be completely straight here. And you want your abs braced. You don't want any arching or caving in of your stomach. You want it to be perfectly neutral. And that really comes into play with things like squats or bird dogs or donkey kicks. Especially when it comes to something like bird dogs or donkey kicks, you don't want your back to arch during movements, especially where your leg, ones where your legs are going back because you're not actually using your leg to do that movement, you're using your back. So then you have your knees and it's pretty simple here. We've all heard that don't bring your knees any further forward than the edge of your toes, but then also you don't want them caving in or out. You want them perfectly in line with your feet. And I think that's something that is common sense for a lot of people, at least a form thing that most people know, but it's a big checkpoint there because some of your thigh muscles, if they tend to go in or out, can be overactive or underactive. And that's something that you wanna look at. So then we have the final checkpoint, which is our feet. And there are a lot of variations in foot placement, but typically you want your feet facing forward unless you're moving them for some other reason. If you have a reason that you're supposed to move your feet for, then you can do it. Like if you notice more glute activation when you turn your feet out 10 to 30 degrees, then yes, definitely do it. But that's a specific reason. It's for glute activation. You don't want to just turn your feet all out all the way to here because first of all, you don't want to turn out your feet completely like that when it comes to squatting. But if you don't know the reason, then I would say don't do it because if you don't know why, then you could be doing something that's hurting yourself. I'm not saying that turning your feet out is always bad, but if you don't know why you're doing it, you probably shouldn't do it because you can hurt yourself. 
So that's basically the big overview of form is so important to make sure you kind of have down because you can end up forming habits of faulty pattern movements or not notice when certain muscles are overactive or underactive that need to be addressed. You can end up with imbalances that can be really hard to correct later. So it's definitely really important to make sure you are actively trying to improve your form. I 1000% recommend filming yourself when you exercise if you don't work out with someone who's more knowledgeable than you or even just a buddy. There are so many things that you can't see and especially as a beginner you can't feel but even now, even now being a trainer, I still film myself all the time working out. Partly is to make content for you guys but the other part is for me because I will be able to see things that I can't feel on my own because my muscle connection is something that is forever developing and growing and I'm still getting better at it. I'm still still learning and sometimes I don't realize I'm doing something and that's really important to be really aware of what's going on in your body and that is an insanely useful tool to be able to help assess your own form. So I want to take the camera back a little bit and then model a couple of exercises for you guys and show you all of those checkpoints kind of in motion and the exercises that are very typical. So let me get all set up for that and I'll see you guys in a second. So first we have squats and you can see here from this front view that my feet are facing forward. My knees are aligned straight over my feet and my knees are not moving outward or inward. They're staying straight and straight over my toes. Then from the side view, you can see that my shoulders are back. My head and neck are not protruding forward. They're staying nice and neutral. My back is not arching in any way. It's just staying nice and straight while I go through the movement. Then I have bird dogs and bird dogs are a pretty complicated exercise, kind of hard to understand. They look really easy, but they're actually really hard once you do them right. And the real key there is to look at the lumbopelvic hip complex. You can see that my back here is totally straight and it does not arch as I lift up my feet. It stays nice and neutral the whole time. My legs are staying in line with my hips as I extend them. And as I place each hand down in front of me, my hand is going directly underneath of my shoulder and in my neck I'm looking straight down at the floor I'm not looking ahead I'm not looking through my body down at my feet just straight down in a nice neutral spine again so hopefully seeing those form notes in a little bit more of a dynamic sense helped make things a little bit more clearer for you if you guys have any other confusion about any specific exercises that you don't understand the form on or anything in a general sense as far as questions go with form bring them my way whether it be in the comments down below or in my dms over on instagram if you guys want to follow me on there my username is at jackies.journey underscore and that is it for today's video so if you guys enjoyed please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and tick the notification bell so you don't miss any new content from me i upload new videos every monday at 11 a.m eastern standard time and i hope to see you in the next video bye guys